what's going on everybody so I'm back at the garage today uh, we're gonna be doing the alignment on the BMW which I have the front bumper cover off and it's up in the air I gotta put the wheels back on it but it's gonna be a little bit before that starts so I like to show you guys my uh, my street bike this is the one I ride on the street these are the ones on the track this is the one for the street it's a 2010 Kawasaki Z1000 I like this bike a lot because it's more upright, it's more comfortable for riding on the street, uh, and it's just an all-around good bike. So <laughs> take these mirrors off here, and I got some pretty cool little trick mirrors down here. They're going to mount right here in place of the uh, little bar in. <clears throat> Give it a nice cleaner look and get rid of these big old uh, tall mirrors. The mirrors are great, but I don't really like the style of them. So. That's what we're going to do in between. I'm going to get this done and show you guys what it looks like afterward. so I got it done already it's not a big deal it's just very simple turns out that the bar ends that came with the kit they don't fit well with my stock bars so stock bars come with a threaded end they don't come with the hollow end where you can sit, uh, push the uh, crush bushing in and then tighten down and crush it into the bar I had to uh, keep the stock ones here because there's no way to make the other ones work but it fits right over the stock bar ends no problem simple tighten down the clamp right here and adjust the uh, the mirror to where it shows the the proper angle for riding on the bike but overall I think it, it looks a lot better looks a lot cleaner you don't have those big old hoopty mirrors sticking out the top so Jay's shop, carriage house auto. I got the BMW. It's about to go on the lift to get an alignment. Here's that Hunter machine I was telling you about. It's Hawkeye Elite. Very good machine, very precise. Yeah, I got it. Yep. Yeah, stick it again. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to put me on? Yeah. No, I'll edit it. That's fine. You better edit that out. I will. I'll <laughs> edit it. <laughs> That's pretty square right there. Okay. Wait. Good. There you go. Yeah, I hear you. Measurement of the camper. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. 
So for those of you guys in the Amarillo area, this is Carriage House Auto. Jay's the owner. Been doing this for 15 years. 37. 37 years, 15 years in this location. He's one of the best alignment guys I know. He's one of the cheapest alignment guys I know. And your average rate is what, 70? I don't know, 80 dollars in alignment. So, 80 dollars in alignment with a Hunter alignment machine is a really good deal. All righty. So, these of course just the camber. We got that spot on to the specs up on the Hunter machine. And I don't know if you can see, but we got three bolts. One, two, three. Those three bolts right there adjust your toes. So you have to loosen them, tap them a little bit on the control arm, wherever you can get the room, dial them in. We got the, uh, the rear camber and the rear toe set. So you always go camber before toe. So now we're gonna get to the front. On the front, I have to loosen these three nuts right here. That's gonna loosen the caster plate. And we're gonna have to tap it from underneath and get it set. And then of course these right here are gonna be your camber adjustments. So right now we made an adjustment on the caster on the passenger side. We went all the way back as far as it can go. We're doing another caster sweep. Let's see where we end up. Caster's at five. So we're not even going to get seven. Okay. Okay, so the camber went positive. Yeah. So we got to pull it back. Right? Yeah. Because if you can't get to them bolts. Yeah, so we're going to have to adjust the camera before we move the caster all the way back. You can't get to them at all? No, nah, look, look up on top oh, right here. Right See how the back, the back ones are hidden under that ring? Yeah. Yeah. Shit. So we finally got caster and camber set good enough. It's a pain in the butt with these plates. It was binding on the driver's side pretty damn good, but we got it pretty close. So now the final adjustments, the toe, I had to center the steering wheel where I wanted it and he's going to adjust the toe by adjusting the uh, outer tie rods. And once those are set, the alignment should be a lot better than it was before. So here where I, is where I was before. On yeah. camber on the driver's side, I was quarter. a quarter, a little over a quarter of a degree <laughs> negative and 13 degrees negative. And uh, on the caster, I was four and 3.92 positive. Yeah, and 50 inches on the front, half inch toe in on the front half inch toe in on the front so uh -huh. and then the left uh, rear camber was about a quarter positive right rear camber was about a quarter negative and then the toe was about an eighth of an inch toe out on both sides yep. rear end straight though okay that's what the thrust angle is right here thrust angle straight yep. Yep. okay perfect and that was before that's before and this is where it's at currently. And this is where it's at currently. Oh, yeah. On the caster, we couldn't go all the way back positive. All the way back positive on the caster on my adjustable plates is five degrees positive. The stock spec on the BMW M3 was seven degrees. And even with our plates adjusted all the way back, we couldn't even get to the seven. Yeah. So we had to settle on these settings here in order to get but access to my camber adjustment uh, caster bolts. Caster doesn't cause Tire wear. Caster does not cause that's tire wear. It just gives you high speed stability. Yeah, that's the driver quality <clears throat> part of it. And then on the camber, uh, I'm just a 
about 12 degrees negative and 22 degrees negative on the passenger side and you don't want to go too negative that's going to give the inner tire wear and I was getting a lot of inner tire wear before so it's definitely a lot better it's not perfect but it's not a perfect world all right guys I covered quite a bit in this last episode well this episode I uh, took you guys through the alignment process to give you guys a little insight of what goes on with that. It was fun. He let me play with it. I hadn't played with an alignment machine in quite a while, so it was it was a good refresher. But on the flip side of that, we're not quite happy with the alignment the way it sits. Uh, BMW likes things on the negative side, even though we set things to spec on the negative side. It still looks like it's a little bit neg too much negative camber for me. I'm not looking for, you know, corner, all out corner stability. I'm looking for tire wear. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, we got a game plan when my new tires come in. We're going to go ahead and we're going to put it back on the, the alignment rack. We're going to go ahead and align it again. I'll walk you guys through it again and we'll see where she sits after that. Jay's got a lot more experience at this than me. I told him what I wanted and we both didn't seem too happy with it. Just to give you guys a little idea of a factory spec on the camber. The, the rear of the car is set to factory spec on the camber. And as you, as you can see, it's got, still got good, quite, quite a little bit of camera still in it. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring it a little bit more positive. And as you can tell as well, on the front tires right here, I have some spacer plates right here. So I'm gonna try taking the spacer plates off. That should bring the rims flush with the fender on the outside because before I had it negative in quite a bit. But uh, that's what I'm gonna try and we're gonna see how that works out. It's a learning process for me and, uh, and for him as well. So you trial by error and that's how you learn. But anyway, I hope you guys like the content. I try to keep it fresh. I keep trying to keep things moving. So like I said, I have a lot of projects. I always have stuff going on, so I don't mind sharing that with you guys. So go ahead and like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next episode. Peace out.